Hey, how's it going, everyone? HFT or Happy Fun Times here. This is just going to be a quick uh, little section of me talking real quick before I continue working on this. Uh, I haven't really been doing much of the comic book stuff for this. So, well, I, not just in terms of work, but I really should record some of the effort that I'm putting in. Just as a kind of like fun little, hey, this is how this was made. You get to see the creation of it. Well, that's this right here. And I'm going to be listening to some music along the way as I do it. And I got some Don't Star music. So I'm going to go back to working on this. I'm going to meet myself. And enjoy.
Well, that was fun. Uh, kind of shitty, not gonna lie, but, you know, for something done in paint, it looks not, it looks pretty, pretty mediocre. I mean, the only thing I can really say I'm honestly fucking pleased with is the Bono, my character, and the little figure sketch, and yes, that is what that is if nobody knew. I know that, like, I think Deerclops drops six meat, but I figured why litter the area with meat, or a few more basically four. I'm not gonna put four more meat on the ground. Two is enough to know, you know, what happened. Fucking figure sketch, good enough. Eyeball character, has got his one foot on it, you know, like, fucking hero standing on a rock or whatever the fuck. Like, imagine Link or whatever the fuck, something like that, basically. And, of course, my character is holding the rapier, and that is actually how it is pronounced. I looked into it. We got the sun, maybe I should add a little bit more blue to this, to signify, you know, this area's, you know, a little bit darker, sun's coming up, you got the shadows, you got the trees, a little forested area where deer claps came from, two miscellaneous trees just over there for filler, fucking two grass, because one I felt would be kind of stupid to have, you have Charlie Two's rabbit hole, and that rabbit's rabbit hole, look at that, look how wholesome. And then I realized that the rabbit has black tip ears, not white tip. I gotta redo that. That's really not gonna suck, but, you know, I, I, I gotta do that. But I'll do that right here as I'm talking. Because, why not? It gives me something to do, and it gives uh, people a chance to hear what I have to say about uh, this project as is, it's a fun thing to do. It, honestly, if you could work on uh, your own mod character, if you actually want to, or have think, been thinking about it, 10 out of 10, would, there you go, much better. Now I gotta fucking take this screenshot again. Uh, there's probably something else I can actually think to add. If you heard that little picture noise, that's me taking a screenshot uh, with ShareX. It is a program that basically lets you take... Lets you... Let's you take, sorry, fucking mouth is dry, that lets you take, uh, screenshots, uh, pretty much of anything, or at any time, really, and it's a super useful, uh, fucking program, I adore it, uh, Jesus, get this up, there we go. That needs to be black. There you go. Honestly, I'm not too uh, disappointed with how this turned. Oh, that's black. Okay. Okay, there we go. I don't. Maybe brighten it up a little bit. I don't want it to be that blue. Maybe just a touch. There you go. That's much better. That is so much fucking nicer. It blends. It looks nice. If I can actually get it over there. I mean, maybe it's a little off-putting. Maybe it's a little fucking weird. But it definitely adds more color contrast and more uh, detail to the overall environment, I would say. Uh, maybe I should put a, a few clouds in the sky like maybe... Well, no. Well, maybe. Because... In the first person mod for Don't Starve Together, this is basically how the layout of the land does actually look. So I tried to base it off of that actual mod a little bit. With like, you know, you'd see like this little hill section over here indicating like, hey, here's more land. You'd see, and actually, it actually does have blue sky in that mod, so it's like, okay, fair enough. I don't know if it has clouds, I'd have to look into that one, but if it does, I might add one or two. But as is, I'm pretty okay with this. You got the sun beaming, or maybe I should invert these colors. Maybe this should be the lighter and this should be the darker. I don't fucking know. You know, I'm not going to mess with it. It looks fine. 
Maybe I might see what it looks like though. I, I kind of do want to see what that looks like. So we'll just paint that one green. We'll paint this one the darker blue. We'll paint this one uh, the brighter blue. I, actually, yeah, that looks a hell of a lot better. Inverting that actually worked out a lot better in my favor because it's the sun. It's supposed to be brighter and emitting light, not fucking casting shadow. Well, maybe it is casting shadow, but this. These shadows need to be fixed a little bit. I need to, like, add some fucking shit to it. Uh, but for the most part, um... I actually was going to play the music I was listening to when I started, but oh, that is not the right one. This is the right one. I was going to play the music I was listening to, but I figured I don't think anyone would want to hear the song Pour Some Sugar On Me by, was it Def Leppard? I don't fucking know. Point being, I actually really like that song, and I wanted to listen to it yesterday, but was unable to because I fell asleep. That looks just a hair of a dick better. That looks that looks nicer. That looks that looks nicer. Just a teeny weeny bit. A little bit extra detail to that. Never fucking hurt nobody. Might add some shadows to the berry bushes. But probably not in the way that you would think. Uh let's see. Well, it needs to be darker than this uh, this color right here. I always take the screenshot before it's fucking done. By the time I actually take the screenshot, it's like, well, sure, I can edit it if I really wanted to, but, you know... Yeah, just by that point, it's like, why even bother? Oh, someone fully colored. No, don't save it, you ninny. Oh, it's this. I like trains. Says added you to their friends list. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? And why is that name so goddamn glorious? I don't know. Maybe I should make the. Maybe I should make the bushes just a tad bit brighter. And then keep these shadows the same. I don't fucking know. Wait, what's the shadow color under here? This is... Alright, we'll go with this one. We'll go with this one because this is nicer. Whoopsie doopsie, I made a big fucky wucky. Here we go. This is what you get when you don't fucking zoom in. Zoom in, dummy. Actually, I have an idea. How about I just do this? And then I come down here. Wow! Rocket science! Holy shit! That actually worked. Wow! Actually, that looks nicer. The little extra shadow looks nicer. Maybe I should fucking add shadows to the grass as well. Not a lot of it, but definitely a little bit of it, you know, just because grass. <laughs> because grass. Three, four. There you go. Whoop. Okay. And boop, boop, uh, boop, there you go, not, not, not too bad. I like the extra shadows because it kind of signifies that the sun is rising. So this certainly does help out quite a bit. The shadows do add a lot to a picture. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some shadows to that as well. Shadowing and shading does add a lot more character and depth to any image, I will say. And technically you can never have too many. 
I mean, you can, but you kind of can't. Uh, what the bitch tit was fucking, uh, it was, it was you. Why would you do that? And then, of course, I need to fix this area right here because the border is supposed to be all black. No! The border is supposed to be all black. There you go. We made it there in the end. I should probably add some... Instead of, like, just shadows casting themselves away from it, how about I just add some simple shadow... And maybe I might change that gray shadow over there to, uh, you know, the, um, the one that I'm currently using. Maybe I don't need to use that much gray. But aside from that, you know, it's, this is not too bad. It's pretty good, I would say. This is not too bad of a, in, uh, of a doodle. Of course, this is fucking two of many that I gotta fucking finish. There's a lot of these that I gotta do. Like, I actually looks pretty good. I like that. I will stick with that one. Carrot, mm, I don't know. Maybe. Hey! That looks a lot better, actually, now that I fucking... That looks so much better. That looks a lot better than the gray. I don't even know why I went with the gray. Probably because I was in the mindset of fucking nighttime, and it's like, no, Deer Claps is dead, sun come up. There you go. Sun always comes up when that fucker dies for me, so why not? And of course, you have Charlie too, who's happy as a blin. She's adorable. Wholesome. Okay, let's add some fucking shadow to you, my friend. And you might think that might look weird, but no. When you actually see it, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know if I want to add shadowing to the meat. If anything, I'll just do this. We'll just do that little peanut shape, and then we'll just do... Boop! And bam! Two birds, one stone. Look at that. Isn't that fucking glorious? Now the only things that don't have shadowing is indeed the carrot and that bush over there and that little bun. Oh, I'm probably going to add a bunny shadow to that. An actual bunny shaped shadow just because it's cute. Because why not? And... Hey, hey, there you go, that works. That actually looks nice. Looks like a fucking carrot shape. Of course, I'm going to keep this little black border right there, but I'm going to add on to it. Okay, there we go. Isn't the... Uh-oh. I like how it's like, oh, that's nice, and then it's like, uh oh. What? Damn it! There we go. Probably should have that leaning out a little further, but whatever. And then we'll just add a little bunny shaped shadow just right here because fun though. It's not going to be 100% identical, but it is going to be bunny. Just because I think it's cute, and the concept of bunny. And the best part about shadows, at least in my opinion, is they can be 100% different from what's right here. It doesn't have to be identical. Because shadows work in weird ways where it can, like, fucking look weird as shit and, like, distort it a bit. So, there you go. We have all that little bit of detail right there. We have 
fucking shadowing is done on everything that I put there. Adds a lot more to it. I'm not going to texture the fucking ground. Glad that I'm not, or decided not to, because that would be a lot of fucking extra work. And a little, a lot more goes a ways away. Not going to fucking lie. But, you know, I just, I don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I really don't want to do it. Uh, part of me wants to make the Dark Sword black. Because that's the color of it in the game. I don't know. Let's let's see what that looks like. What or what that? Well, okay, that's green. All right. Never heard of a green sword, but I've heard of a dark sword. I mean, it would look nice if it were. You know, actually, yeah. We'll we'll make it uh, the dark sword black, and we'll just add, I'll add some like light gray highlights in there. Mostly due to the fact that Dark Swords are usually black anyway, so it really doesn't matter too much. We'll go with this and we'll just like add, I don't know, like, an, like a fucking... Just an edge right along there. And there we go! Not too bad. Also, I will be including the link to that uh, orchestrated version of Don't Start Together's music. I mean, that looks really shitty and lazy. I should really do something about that. And I'm going to. Because why would I want to fucking do a decent job with the other stuff and leave that half-assed? I don't even know what the fucking design of this fucker is going to be in-game, honestly. I don't really know. I don't have any clue. Oh, that looks nice. This will just do that. Add some bits and bobs right there, so... I would say that is a moderate success, in my honest opinion. I should add more detail to these corner bits, and I might do that, but not now. Because I actually can't edit this in Paint.net. So, whatever I'm not happy with before I post it, whenever I get all the pieces to this comic... Didn't want to do that, because I accidentally took off screenshot of the whole fucking page. Uh, whatever I'm not happy with, I can edit later on, but as is, I'm pretty happy with the end results, and I honestly don't know how long this video is. How long did this take me to doodle? Let me... It has to be from fucking... God fucking damn you. You could see how stupid this thing is, you'd understand. You gotta have, like, fucking... The precise movement of a rabbit's ball sack in order to fucking use this thing in exactly the way you want it. There we go. I'm gonna start using that precise movement of a rabbit's ball sack. It's stupid, it's very vulgar, but it's haha funny because, you know, rabbits are like, fuck, they like, they like to fuck, if you didn't know. They're the fucking sex symbol of the animal kingdom. Why do you think Hugh Hefner had fucking playboy bunnies? Because everybody want a piece of that fucking floof. Also, he knew something that a lot of people didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, those are fucking playboy bunnies. Were well, bunnies like that were probably around for a while, so we're not even going to fucking talk about, you know, Hefner and the history of fucking rabbits like that. Uh, I did add a little shade to the shoe right there, so that's honestly fine. And I did that one right there so you can see the wedge from the actual shoe. Not bad, not bad at all. Ugh, fucking stretch. Oh my god, alright, let's see, how long is this recording? Probably an hour. Almost two hours. This took me almost fucking, this took me up literally, literally, well, la 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 Spit out the word literally. <laughs> this took me just about two hours. That's, l no, we're not saying that word again. Not literally. And there it is. Back in the vocabulary. 
Fuck it. This took over fucking almost two hours. That's literally the amount, the amount of time, I know I say that a lot, but fucking amount of time that I would spend on a stream. Which, by the way, I had a lot of great luck in my fucking Don't Starve uh, Reign of Giants stream yesterday. Holy shit, I got a lot done. I got base just about done. I found a beefalo hat at fucking random in the swamp. I got a glow berry and was able to make moggles, so I'm probably going to end up doing some cave diving in the next stream I do of that, or maybe, I don't know. Do need to go hunting on that game, because I need meat. I don't know. I'm actually debating on streaming that later on today. Potentially, probably, I don't know. Depending on how today goes. Actually, no, because if today goes as, as I believe it goes, I might end up working on some voice lines for my character mod with my friend Joji, because he said, sure, I can help you out, and it's like, alright, cool. So, I'm probably going to end up doing that, but, uh, that aside, I like how this turned out. I like how my character looks, he actually doesn't look as retarded as I thought he would. Charlie, too, looks happy and cute and fluffy-wuffy. The other bunny over there just, just staring off in the fucking distance, just thinking bunny things. Did I leave the fucking sofa on fire again? I don't know. Did I burn that forest that I, that I really fucking hated? Uh, probably. Probably. That's probably what that rabbit's thinking. All rabbits think about is arson, let's be honest. It's just fucking world domination and fuck. And being cute. But that aside, jokes about rabbits aside, fucking... It might look lazy, it might look kind of cheap, it might be a little bit stupid because it's done in MS Paint, but I honestly personally feel like because this is what I've got to work with and it's the easiest thing that I know for the most part, this is fine. This is honestly fine and I can't think of anything else that I would do differently or use different from the usual stuff. I personally like it and I hope, you know, there's a lot of people that like it too. Just because it's not bad. It's not that bad. I'm actually really digging the borders as well. I love making fucking comic books for this. Or comic strips. Not, this is not a whole book. This is a fucking strip of the comic. I'm probably going to forego the other bits that I had for my comic and not even use them. Well, actually, no. I do have one that I might actually use because I do have that bit I have that one little bit of that comic strip that doesn't have the background to it that I can easily doodle or edit a sanity meter depleting probably gonna make one not edit one because I mean why not draw it because I it'd be weird to see in-game assets with the MS paint shit not entirely because I do have my character in a forested area uh, from the first person mod that I got from Google Images. I do like that and I will be keeping that one, but the rest of this comic book is going to be done in MS Paint. So as far as I'm concerned, at the moment, as I speak right now, there are at least approximately two panels, or one, well, no, hold on, there's one, no, there's two panels done, wait, where's the other one, I had another one, where the fuck did it go, oh no, there it is, I have two panels done for this, one is of my character sitting down next to, a, oh, there's a birch tree, well then again, you don't see the fire, you don't see ash in this area, so, I guess I could just write it off as moved away from that area, just ran over to a forest, at a, you know, spot, and, you know, there you go, that's all she wrote, so the deciduous would be right over there, where my character would be, and obviously the forest being right here, the meat, the figure sketch, the eyeball, like, being over here, this is, I would say, where my character fucking ran to. Just about... I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm just kind of bullshitting this story as I go along. 
which isn't necessarily bad. Improv is, relatively speaking, one of the best, if not the best things that you can do. And I noticed a thing over here that I can do, which is I didn't have the full... Well, it doesn't matter, actually. It really don't matter. I'm not going to bother with it. Improv is a useful talent or skill to have, which I do not have as much, but I can fucking MacGyver something together. So I guess that's the plot behind this. I'm probably... I'm actually going to edit the... Uh, an E-N-D right in the corner over here uh, from the DST font that I have. And that's basically going to be the end of the comic book. This is the final picture of the comic book. Of course, that's a spoiler now, but that's okay because I already said what the story was basically going to be. And to answer the question of a follow goo, uh, probably not gonna have the headphone bit of me getting sucked in that way. I was thinking, instead of me getting sucked in the headphones, I would be getting sucked in the screen, and it would be me working on a character mod uh, video, which that would be very fucking complicated to doodle. Um, but I guess the origin would go as followed. I'm probably not even going to draw that bit, honestly, because of how complicated it would be, and there's, like, a bunch of panels that I need to do, and whenever I feel like it, I guess the origin would go as followed. Me working on a character mod, and there's a new gramophone mod out. And I fucking plop it down. And press play on the fucking, or press the button on the uh, gramophone. And for whatever reason, somehow, there you go. Bam! Because the gramophone is what sucked in Warly. And there you go. Why does that, why does Warly fucking matter in the equation of how my character got here? I don't know, I just thought that was cool. So, just imagine that gramophone, and there you go, and... Bam! That's it. Maybe, because I, I, I wear two headphones. I was going to say, I would say, you know, the headphones bit, but I don't, that, that would literally split my fucking body to be sucked into both ends of the headphone. It could be in one of them. You know, in, well, actually, that would make sense, because uh, if I ever decided to make an ending to this comic book, like an actual ending of me getting out of the constant... Uh, then it could be in one ear, out the other. And that's what I could call that comic. You know, I'm going to keep getting sucked in the headphones in that equation. And just basically have it as me fucking making a character mod. Uh, or not character mod, me making a mod showcase, gramophone, play, sucked in one ear, sucked in the left side, and then... If and when this game ever comes to an actual full conclusion, if Clay does it justice and gives it a proper ending, uh, I will do a comic for that and get fucking shoved out the right headphone instead. There you go. It all makes sense. This is a long, long, long video, but at least I'm theorizing what the fuck is going to be going on and the whole plot line and the story to it. I really do like it. Thinking about it and talking about it gives me ideas, and I definitely do need to doodle myself, scrounging around, basically. I'm not... I know, um, a follow goose said that, oh, this comic sounds, you know, longer than just a, you know, a short comic. Well, do you know how many panels were in the original, uh, fucking comic book for Metheus? At least three pages. And, like, several panels per uh, per page, so... As far as I'm concerned, this is literally going to be, like, one page of panels. Like, there's going to be... Uh, me waking up in the constant. Uh, which is just going to have my character laying down. Probably with this shade of green around him. Or whatever. Him opening his eyes, and that, that's just going to be an, an edited image. 
of just, you know, me erasing the eyes and just drawing them slightly open and kind of groggy. And then lifts up. Basically, you're not going to see him lift up, but you'll just see him sitting down, uh, lifted up, looking around. Eyes going left, eyes going right, eyes looking forward. Freaking the fuck out because I know exactly what happened. Next to the gramophone that I was fucking uh, shat in by. Uh, probably going to go with the part where immediately fucking goes to gathering resources. Um, and one of the, me gathering resources, I'm going to be by a rabbit hole. So, woohoo. Being by the deciduous and just being like, alright, well this is the most bountiful fucking area. Uh, I know I said I wanted to have my character chopping trees. And I probably will have him chopping a tree. Like, there'll be a panel where he's gathering resources, one where he's chopping a tree, mining a rock... And then, uh, night slowly comes, and he fucking clutches his head because he's losing Sandy at a rapid pace. Because, if you're an anxious cunt like me, being shat into a position like this knowing full well that there is no, like, coping mechanism, there's nothing that can help you in that equation, you don't have any, there's no fucking doctors, there's no medication, there's no you know, drinky poos for occasional socializing, there's no friends to drink with. Drinking's not everything, I really don't give a shit about drinking, but, you know, every time I, I hang out with some friends, that's usually where it ends up, which is fun, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't, I don't turn down, uh, stuff that they hand, uh, drinks that they hand me mostly because, like, well, you know, with friends, why not, social activity. It's like playing Kalashnikov, uh, in Life of Boars. So, clutching his head, Opening his eyes because he's fucking going completely mental because fucking sanity draining. A uh, picture of him sitting down uh, next to a campfire. Or probably one of him uh, building the campfire where he just like, you know, hands over the fire. And you just see it like loosely assembling itself. And then just him sitting down uh, holding himself. And then obviously... Uh, fucking zoom in not zoom but like you know an up close picture of him and you hear his eyes widen because obviously stomach growling uh looks up at the fucking hunger meter and sees that oh shit I, in this entire time I haven't eaten anything so uh reaches over grabs a stick that's just fucking next to him uh, puts a carrot on the end, and then you have him just sitting there with the fucking carrot over the fire. Just roasting that bitch. And that's when Little Charlie 2 comes into play. Again, this is going to be a lot of panels. Uh, some of them are probably going to be lazily done, not going to lie. But... It might sound like a lot of work, and it is, don't get me wrong, but at the very least... I'm actually thinking about stuff, and I'm actually putting effort into it. Like, I'd rather put, go a little over the top with, a, you know, a, a short origin comic, or just a short comic in general, than nothing at all. Just barely, like, I don't know, two, three panels. You could easily slap that together and get it done, but that's lazy. Like, considering how shitty my paint doodles kind of look... At least, you know, I'm thinking about shit to do and actually making uh, this interesting and fun. And honestly, I really like doodling these. It's just, to doodle something like this takes a long time. I didn't intend to do this much work, but I couldn't just simply draw my character with, you know, Charlie Poo. Kinda had to actually put in some effort right there and slap it in, but, you know, it's actually, I'm, I'm actually pleased with it. I didn't plan to do this much, but I'm glad I did this much, and I'm absolutely fucking over the, over the top with it. I'm, I'm well happy with it. I hope people that, uh, like these comics or see them are happy with it. You know, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's good shit. It is good shit. Also, some of the panels might not have the same thickness. Some might be thicker than others. Some might be thinner than others. 
I can't really just... I, I can only eyeball that. I can't actually do, like, fucking precise shit. Like, this is thicker than these. But I think they are anyway. Uh, but it, it, does, it doesn't matter. As long as the point gets across and it's in a fucking black square... What what's the difference? But no, uh, the rest of the comic is basically as I said yesterday. Um, fucking Charlie Two shows up because I literally picked all the resources. Uh, I see the bunny at my fucking paw at my leg. Look behind me and I see all the resources, like just a bunch of resources picked clean, and I'm probably. Well, I'm not going to reuse the panel, honestly. I'm probably just going to fucking doodle.